The Journey to Wealth is a series where I document my progress on YouTube in real time of going from zero dollars in income to becoming wealthy. By documenting my successes and failures, I want to provide a transparent and realistic view of how someone will attain a large amount of wealth after starting from zero. If you follow my channel and watch my videos, I want you to succeed just as I succeed. My goal with this video is to show you how I made a huge leap in income to 200k for a single year and also help spark the ideas within you so that you can make 200k in income in 2020. In 2012, I graduated from Georgia Southern University with a degree in sport management and had aspirations of working in the sports industry for my entire career. After multiple internships and a sales job with the Houston Rockets, I decided to move to Oakland, California to sell season tickets for the Oakland A's. My salary was $33,600 and I knew no one in the entire city. I took a risk moving halfway across the country to a city 2,500 miles away from where I grew up. After failing miserably, I needed to make a career change. I invested in myself by attending a 12-week coding boot camp in San Francisco. This led to me getting a job offer in Las Vegas with a tech company. I am still with the company four and a half years later. I make $45,000 per year in W-2 income. My question for you is, are you maximizing your W-2 income? Are there any opportunities available in your area where you can earn more money? Are there any skills you can learn in your free time that will lead to you making more money in your career? Comment below what your career is and what skills you can attain to increase your income. After renting an apartment on my own when I moved to Las Vegas, I decided to buy my first property. I was really nervous and had a lot of fear about purchasing a property, but I had a plan and I was confident that buying a condo and getting a roommate would lead me closer to my goals. In September 2016, I bought a condo in the Las Vegas Country Club for $120,000. My total monthly expenses were $880. I depleted all of my savings, my Roth IRA, and any emergency fund for the down payment. I was nervous that I made a terrible decision. I was paying $625 to rent my own apartment and now I was paying $250 more per month. My plan all along was to get a roommate to reduce my total monthly expenses. Due to the great location, the neighborhood, and the room being furnished, I was able to receive $700 a month in rental income every single month I lived there except the final month. In 2019, I received $700 in January and $420 in February income from roommates and $292 from principal paydown. I was able to sell the condo for $170,000 on February 28, 2019, resulting in a $50,000 gross profit on the sale. This condo provided $51,412 of income in 2019. My question for you is, have you bought your first property yet? Can you buy a property and get a roommate to help reduce your living expenses? Or do you have a vacant room in your house right now that you can rent out to gain an additional income source? Comment below and let me know if you have the ability to add an additional source of income by renting out rooms in your house. My most popular video to date is the one where I explain how I purchased a fourplex in Las Vegas off market using seller financing. If you haven't watched that video, make sure to check it out as I share all the details, struggles, and difficulties I had with closing that property. This property was a headache to own, but I enjoyed the experience learned from start to finish. Even with a D-class property that brought in low rents, I was able to receive $17,951.59 in rental income over the seven months I owned the property in 2019. In July, I was able to sell the property for $310,000 resulting in a gross profit gain of $50,000 as I purchased the property for $260,000 just 8 months earlier. Since tenants pay each month's mortgage bill, they assisted with adding $1,543.63 in equity during the 7 months of ownership in 2019. In total, the fourplex brought in $69,495.22 for the year. My question for you is, are you willing to put in effort to go find investment deals? If you're a new real estate investor following this channel, what can you do this next month to ensure that you can buy a real estate investment property in 2020? Please comment below with any questions you may have on how you can go about finding a real estate deal in 2020 or if there's anything holding you back from accomplishing this. On March 1st, 2019, I decided to take over my friend's house via lease purchase agreement. This is a seven bed, five bath, 2,400 square foot house in Las Vegas. This is a cash cow. I'm going to be making a video detailing exactly how I took ownership of this property without using agents, credit checks, bank qualifications, work history, or anything a traditional lender cares about. Make sure to hit subscribe so you'll be able to see that video. This is the quickest and easiest hack to have your income surge into different tax brackets. I'm able to rent the other six bedrooms in the house for $3,650 total. 
These rooms are furnished, I keep the house reasonably clean, and the tenants don't have to worry about any utility, internet, or electric bills as the cost is built into their monthly rent. For the months of March to December, this house brought in $34,345 in roommate income. Since the mortgage is getting paid every month, I added $1,800 in equity during the 10 months of ownership. In total, this house provided $36,145 in income. This is certainly an extreme way to live, but if you're young and single watching this video, what's holding you back from doing something similar? Are there any houses in your area that are four to six beds, and by renting out the other rooms, you can have all of your bills paid? Comment below with what's holding you back from buying a deal like this in 2020. Between all four sources of income, I brought in $202,052.22 in gross income for the year 2019. Since my goal is to have the most transparent channel on YouTube, I want you to understand how easy it is to inflate numbers to make yourself look amazing on social media. This $202,000 is not how much I kept. This number is how much I brought in, similar to a company's revenue number. I only kept around $45,000. This is because of business expenses, closing costs during the two property sales, agent fees, seller concessions, and property maintenance. Some of you who watch this will tell me why I'm an idiot for counting gross income, but to me, it's a metric for how much money I can earn in the world. I enjoy all types of data, and I want to keep track of how much money I gross since my expenses will decrease as I gain experience, talent, and an improved process of running a real estate business. Comment below with what your income goal is for 2020 and what you're going to do to achieve that number.